We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Cincinnati Reds and the New York Yankees. Yankee baseball starts now. Jonathan Loisega, the Nicaraguan born pitcher, gets the call to start in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Now batting, Mark Payton, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won first just pitch. twice in their Kevin last Opa. six tries. Yeah, Maddie, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right now. This is a fight at the bat rack. And we could be in for a cold one tonight. 52 degrees at game time, but should see the 40s before we're through. Now the one and one pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. A swing and a ground ball to third. He's got it. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Got it, second. The designated hitter, Jesse Winker. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jesse Winker. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. Here comes the first pitch. 1-0. In his career, Winker possesses a slugging percentage above the 450 mark, so he's capable of running into one here. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And there's out number two. Batting third, the first baseman, number 19, Joey Votto. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. Pitch on the way. Swing and a liner. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. A nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. Into the box, Eugenio Suarez, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. Votto stands at second with two gone. A ball and a strike. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back-breaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, Dero, you touched it on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first inning and not have to show all of your pitches and empty out the bucket. That two-out double right now, he's going to have to buckle down to try to keep this game scoreless. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. Dero, this Gary Simmons, he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah, I'm okay with it, though, Dan. You want to go east-west, I'll make the adjustment. It's the north-south that'll kill you. And, oh, the offline throw as this takes off down the line in left field.
the 3-1. There's ball four. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way Mike out of the zone. Moustakis. At the plate, Mike Moustakis. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing yeah. pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Moustakis, or just Moose for short, this is his 10th season at the Major League level, so almost a decade, which is quite an accomplishment. Foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike two. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. Here it comes, 0-2. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes, you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The one two is a fastball that misses. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Swing and he pops him up and that'll get down for a base hit. That can't bother you too bad, Dan, right there. Power guy at the plate, and you're able to get that's in his good. kitchen. Boy, that, that's a tough you. one to swallow, right? These big, strong yeah. guys, they like to get their tough arms job. extended. That wasn't that bad of a pitch, but he's just so strong that he's able to muscle that into the outfield grass. Nick Castellanos oh, now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. The set and the 1-0. Nope. Ball right. two now. Here's the 2-0. Oh. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. Three balls and a strike to the Reds' left fielder. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. 23 pitches already here in the first inning. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full 3-2. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. He sent the 3-2. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Reds will be forced to settle for just the one. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Reds one and the Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Anthony DiSclefani will be the one towing the rubber for the Reds. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, DiSclefani, a big, tall, strapping guy. Not an overpowering guy. 93 to 95 miles an hour. Big, sweeping, breaking ball and the straight changeup. When he's on, you'll know for a guy like this, he gets a lot of swings and misses. If he's on, a lot of strikeouts early on in the game. Here comes Brett Gardner now as he'll lead things Brett. off in the home first. Gardner. Now here's the pitch. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. 
And guys, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they come in winners of two straight and looking to get things turned around in what hasn't been all that amazing a stretch for them. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Fouled off. Ready with the 0-2. I got to count one and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. And he fouls this one off. And this is swung on and missed as Gardner's a strikeout victim, one away. Batting second. And Not that'll bring stop. up Glaber Torres. Labor. It's an 0 for 4 effort for him oh, in Wednesday's right. ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. Torres is a prolific power hitter and you probably didn't need me to tell you that doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces there's a lot of pop in that bat yeah this guy absolutely does not discriminate and you could close your eyes during batting practice and know exactly who's hitting the baseball in the cage edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here love the execution of that pitch down in the zone Got to keep the ball two in balls, the yard. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an Batting opportunity turn. to do some damage. Right so fielder. when you strike both Aaron. of them out, you're putting yourself God. in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Well, should be 2-0, and oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One and one. Woo, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. And it's hey. a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Now a foul tip. Held onto behind the plate. It's strike three, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're down one nothing. Ready now, Aristides Aquino. He's hitting just he south of 300 right. in April. The right fielder, number 44. First pitch on its way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Not close. It's 2 and 0. Oh. Two balls and a strike. Little hesitation right there by the batter. It was great execution by the pitcher down and away. But that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Out of here. Into the visitor's bullpen. So a solo shot here to left center field. Eighth home run on the season for him. And it's given Cincinnati a two to nothing lead. Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. 
at the plate now, Freddie Galvis. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Well, Yankee Stadium, of course, features a number of nods to the great history of the organization and its legendary players, but apparently when you hit 52 home runs as a rookie, you rightfully get your own cheering section built in your name. What a magical year 2017 was for Aaron Judge. The slogan, all rise, fit him perfectly. What's really cool about it was the Yankees weren't even sure he was going to make the team coming out of spring training. He emerged into the scene, was the talk of baseball going into the All-Star break, finished that off with a powerhouse into the season, one of the best young players the game in baseball has seen in a long time. All rise, Aaron Judge. Ground ball left side. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the Static infield. Time. One away. The catcher, Tucker Barnhart. In now, Tucker Barnhart. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch of the at bat. Just oh, off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. High in the air out to center field. After it is Gardner. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The center fielder, number 34, Mark Payton. Digging in for his second at bat, Mark Payton. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Liner in there for a base hit. Hard bullet single to left field on a pitch that was kind of middle down in the zone D row and he's going to have to make some better pitches than that one. Yeah if he's going to leave pitches over the heart of the plate he's going to have a long night. The middle of this order does serious damage. And he'll dive back in safely. To the plate now, Jesse Winker. As the first ball pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hit hard towards center. And that's in there. Base hit. The batter. And now the time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. So up steps the former MVP Joey Votto. Hit hard to the right side. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Here's the 1-1 one, one now to Votto. Fastball called strike. One and two. And that misses two and two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Two down, runners at first and second.
So a full count now. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. Payoff pitch on its way. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. One for the Reds in the inning, and it comes courtesy of this solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Two nothing Cincinnati. So striding forward for his first opportunity, Gary Sanchez, Yankees. as he's been in the a pretty good stretch over Gary. the last 10 or so ball games. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Count one and oh. The 1 0. 2 1 0. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. And he gets the slider over here. It's 2 and 1 now. Nasty 2 0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Took a good cut that time. It comes up empty, two and two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Boy, he's really on a roll of a hill good. right now. As we roll that's through that's it again, good. remember, he struck good out the ball. side in the last inning, and now that's he picks bad. up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Settling in now, Giancarlo Stanton. And we'll see if he can at least put the ball in play. Something the first four men have been unable to do. And now pitch on the way. One out, nobody on. Behind 0-2 now. inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two hey that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close but I'm hit right now I'm still sitting on that heater breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone high in the air down the right field line but this will wind up being a foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees' DH. Three-two pitch. He is swung on and missed strike three. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. Batting That's six. five straight punch outs. Baseman. I love it. But I think DJ. he might want to get his defense involved Bob at some Bayview. point so they don't fall asleep. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 
He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And it's fouled away. The 1-1. One, one. Hit back up the middle. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They trail things here 2 to nothing. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the Reds' offense with their manager between innings. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Riding in once again, Eugenio Suarez. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First delivery to him on the way. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. A hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Now the 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's going to beat me. Yep. Swung on and missed three and two. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Leading off the inning your job is to get on base and the set the table for the inning. That, that was a pretty good at bat and then he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. At the plate Mike Moustakis. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low it's ball one. This year against right-handed pitching, Mustakis brings a batting line of barely over 200, so there's certainly some room for improvement there. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. And he takes a cold strike, too. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's 1 and 1. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Two out, nobody on. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Reds are down in order, but they're on top two to nothing. Oh. 
Welcome back. As the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order, fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. Within the league, they rank among the leaders in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. When asked about their offense, the players I talked with all brought up how multifaceted their talent is, saying they've got guys that can spray the ball around, guys that work counts and draw walks, and of course plenty of guys that can go deep and drive in runs. Their numbers certainly confirm that, guys. All right, Howdy, thank you. For the Yankees, the left fielder, Mike Tuckman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Two and zero to the Yankees left fielder. The two zero. A good pitch there had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a two two pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And that's what Number you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. He's set. Here it comes. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Working for the punch out and the offering. Outside, that's the ball. This one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 2 2. Not what you want to do on the mound go from 0 2 to 3 2, but credit the man in the box for being patient, even with two strikes. Nobody out, runner on first. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting that coach, you say, that's a the great AB. Down 0 2, and you work the walk. But if you're a four. pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook, and that can really frustrate you. Now at the plate, Mike Ford. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey, two options if you're standing on the bump right now. Have to find a way to punch this guy's ticket or roll a double play. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball. And the hitter just fouls that one off. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Well, one ball, two strikes to count. And 
and a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. That's just That's quality fielder. pitching right there for that strikeout. As Red. we look at all five pitches, Yardner. notice the location, all five down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Here's Brett Gardner now, as he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. The 0-1 delivery rolled slowly down the first baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting. Shortstop. Waver. Go red. Now at the plate, Torres. Two on, two out for him here in the third. First pitch of the at bat on nope. its way. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Torres hits a little over the 270 mark. Here comes the 1 0. Line to the right side. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. Ready for another chance? Aristides Aquino. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Yeah, Matt, that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. The 1 0 home. That's a ball. This is the cat and mouse that I love right here. You take the pitcher deep last time up. Now you're 2-0 again. No way he gets a fastball right here. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The batter, number three, short stop, Freddy Galvin. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. Ball two. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Two runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Oh, and they botch this one as it drops in the infield. And he'll reach first safely. Up next for Cincinnati, the catcher, Tucker Barnhart. So now to the plate, Tucker Barnhart, oh. as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh, oh. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0-for-1 so far. The 1-0 pitch. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there, 1-1. One
Now a hard liner. But foul. The one two. Is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3 2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Runner at first here, one man out. Rope to the second baseman, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. The center fielder, number 34, Mark Payton. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now, and stepping in, Mark Payton. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First offering on its way. No offer at that one. It's a cold strike. In the dirt here. A runner on first with two away. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One left for Cincinnati as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. That'll bring up Aaron Judge. For the he was a strikeout victim in his the first right try. Field. Things not Aaron. looking very good so far in this one, but yeah. we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Fouled away. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Ball low as he's able to lay off the slider. I could understand the first pitch being tough on the umpire to debate whether it was a strike or a ball, but no debating that last one. That thing was way off. To the left side, but it's well foul. Another 1-2 delivery. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Boy, it's been a rough go through these middle innings so far. This offense right now really now doesn't back. have an answer for the anything that he's throwing. He's Gary. attacking up, down, in, and out in the Thank strike zone. Dad. He's been awfully dominant up to this point. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. And it's grounded just foul down the line. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The pitch. Struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation now with these the middle of the order middle. guys. That's back to back K's. And the three and four That's guys bad. are harmlessly back in the dugout. Giancarlo Stanton now. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A 
Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're down two to nothing. Your ben Heller please. will come on out of the bullpen now, as he'll be appearing in his game. third game this season. Number 61. Ben. Heller. And now the designated hitter for the Reds, Jesse Winker, one for two on his line so far in the game. Jesse Winker. Here comes the first pitch. Whoa, too low, down. one and oh. Now here's the pitch down the first baseline but a foul ball one and one here's the pitch that's in ball two Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. There's Joey Votto as he gets ready in the on-deck circle. The 3-1. High in the air out to center field. Gardner on the move. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. The first baseman, number 19, Joey Votto. In is Joey Votto now. One for two, including a double back in the first. And the pitch. The 1 0 home. Lifted the other way to left center. Tuckman will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The third baseman, number seven, A. Eugenio Suarez. Two gone in the Cincinnati fifth, and that'll bring in A. Eugenio Suarez. First pitch coming. Here it is. 1 0. Two runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to 1 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Ball. And able to lay off the fastball the way here. 2 and 1 now. Nope. Too That's high that time, and it's three and one. I got three and one. Three balls. Mike Mustakis would be next. The three and one pitch. He loses nope. him on ball four. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Now, yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy right. steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. So a runner at first with two away. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Moustakas. Open stance by Moustakas, and now the pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. On 
on its way. The 0-1 pitch. In there, strike two. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone. But something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ball, to two balls and two strikes now. Two out with the man at first. Fastball oh, didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Working for the punch out and the offering. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. So it's first and second with two men gone, and the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. From the belt, kicks and deals. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Castellanos comes into action carrying a slugging line above 470. Obviously a potent hitter looking to do some damage right here. The 1 0. Hit out towards second. But Mayhew towards second. He's got it. On the first, and the Reds' rally comes up short here as that ends the inning. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Reds two and the Yankees nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. No, they have not scored yet, but they have been successful in running up the pitch count, something they feel will eventually pay dividends on the scoreboard as the starter gets tired and they are forced to go to the bullpen. For now, they're sticking to the plan. All right, Heidi, thank you. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. Yankee. He starts off the inning the against a guy who struck out DJ. the side last inning. How did they get Love to him here? Mayhew. I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. That's Two and zero oh now. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Aye. The high fastball is in there. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And there's He's one out. down now. Now batting left fielder Mike. Talkman. Coming to the plate now, Mike Talkman. He drew a walk his first time up. Pitch on the way. That's a fastball point. too high to start him out here, 1 0. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball 
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now a hard liner. But this is a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Hard hit ball to short. Galvis has it. Throw in time at first for route number two. The batter, number 29. Standing in, Gio Urshela. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now here it comes. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. And he will strike him out. 10 now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. They trail it here, two to nothing. Your Chad Green please. will come on in relief now, now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Number 57, Chad Green. Top half of the sixth about Get to get started. Head. Digging in to try right it again. Aristides Aquino. 44. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. The 0-1 on its way. Nope, that's down. Inside, ball two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The two and one on its way. Hey. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. The two two. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he goes down and gets this one as it's lifted high into the air out to medium deep center. Gardner is right there, one down. Now batting the shortstop, Freddie Galvis. At the plate, Freddie Galvis, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. One ball, no strikes to count. One out, nobody on. And he oh, falls behind now, 2-0. Oh. Oh. 
grounded softly down the line toward first. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, no but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Into the box now, Tucker Barnhart, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0 home misses ball two. Two and one. Now the two one. Lifted the other way out to left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. One two three go the Reds. But they hold a two nothing lead. Now at the plate, Mike Ford will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to the shake Yankees. things up here for a lineup that, quite baseman. frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. All one. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. A bouncer up the middle, fielded by Galvis. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So the lineup flips over and digging in Brett Gardner. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That's a ball. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Everything this guy throws is hard. That change if he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Oh. I'm trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. Right fielder looking up. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number three here in the early going. And the Yankees are on the board. It's now a 2-1 ball game. That bomb didn't tie things up, but they're only down one right now and feeling pretty good they can come back.
coming in now. now Torres. Not your stop. As the first Wait, pitch turns a changeup that can't find Torres. the zone. It's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Hit well on the ground to first. Fielded by Votto, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. Now at the plate, Aaron Judge. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. First pitch coming, here it is. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-handed up and throwing. The wind-up and the 0-1. One and one. This now one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Grounder down the line at third. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. The Yankees claw back a bit thanks to the home run. Top of the order due up to start the seventh. It's the Reds two and the Yankees one. Zach Britton is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start now inning number seven. The New York Yankees. Number 53, Zach Britton. Leading off for the Reds. To the plate now, Mark Payton. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1-0 is a slider taken for a ball. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the 2-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. And oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Now the pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 oh, to start the at-bat. That. But that's a pretty bad hitting. place to be. Yes, but yes. then he kind of refocused yes, himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do. But now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. At the plate now, Jesse Winker, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here's the 0-1. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. And it's fouled away. Here comes another 0 2.
Here's a little chopper up the middle. Torres brings it in, and there are two away now. The first baseman, number 19, Joey Votto. Striding in, Joey Votto. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's set and the pitch. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Splitter that misses too low, and he's behind 2 0 now. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge it. Two balls and a strike. Two out, nobody on. Oh, not two cheated balls. on that one. It's two and two. Just low that time with the heavy sinker as it's ruled ball three. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Now the three and two pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. Reds are down down in order. Lee they lead it two to one. Now the bidding threat. Michael Lorenzen gets the call from the now pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Michael Lorenzen. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, four Gary Yankees. Sanchez. Oh, for the two catcher. for him to this point. Gary. This thing's far from over, Ten even though we're Ten. moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Nope. Too high that time with the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Seared down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. High and wide, two balls and a strike. Takes this the other way to right, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. They need to be aggressive right here from the offensive standpoint. Leadoff base that, hit, bottom of the seventh, the you're down one. Just this has ball. to be the moment they scratch one Get across. There. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Head-to-head -head numbers against Michael Lorenzen. He's gone two for five. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Two balls and a strike. Lorenzen has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. He's fallen behind now, three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Three and one, here it is. And he missed with it, ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Huge now innings have begun second with much baseball. less, I can tell you that. First and second, no out, Love and the guy on the bump you. really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. 
Now in the box, D.J. LeMayhew, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Now the 1-0. Doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Three and oh now. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. Here it is, the 3-0. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Long throw to the plate. He's in there at the plate. And this ball game is tied here in the seventh. Up you know, D. Row, in today's game, it's no not easy there. scoring in the what? late inning, so that RBI base Stop hit to tie there. things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour Your with sinking please. cut. That is now, unbelievable. He's able to get that knock in that big spot. Number 50, Amir. Yeah. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. In now, Mike Talkman. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. To second for one, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Now batting, number 29. Now to the plate, Gio Urshela. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. First pitch coming, here it is. One -oh. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and -oh. Looking at his career totals, Urshela hits a little over the 270 mark. The 1-0 -oh home. Into center field, line drive base hit. And the go-ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's 3-2. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. At the plate, Mike Ford. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Ball. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. First and second now, one man out. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Ready now, two strike pitch on its way. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2, and he's seen a lot of pitches too. Still only one out in the inning. And he takes a look at strike three called. And that's as important as they come there. Two big outs now. Well, that call looked like it was Up a little in the pitcher's favor, but it Up wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, Red. calling balls and strikes Yard, is a really girl. tough job. And even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. And here's a fastball called for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now 
looking to keep this a one run game the pitch gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2 when I broke into the league not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it the game has changed ball. breaking Three. ball below the zone that's ball one these are the situations right here that make me miss wearing a uniform the big spot the cat and mouse of what's he going to throw I'm down one two can I battle back the pitchers trying to put me away this is what Three. got him looking and that'll do it the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left on base. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Yankees three and the Reds two. Ladies Adam Ottavino has been summoned Henry from the Williams. bullpen as he'll do so now to start the eighth. The New York Yankees. Number zero, Adam Ottavino. Ready now for Cincinnati. Eugenio Suarez. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Eugenio First pitch on its way. Count one and oh. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. The set and the 1 0 pitch. Two ball, no ball. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. 2 0 count, the pitch. Is swung on and missed strike one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The two one home. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance though as it landed in the upper deck. Here now the 2-2 is swung on and missed strike three. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and the it's true. Is. So in the eighth that inning of a one-run game, that's right. a really nice job He's of attacking done. a hitter and sending him packing. Into the box, Mike Mustakis. <laughs> as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one a hit and two tries for him so far and the pitch and a cut fastball but this bounces near the plate for a ball bases are empty one man out. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. All even now. Two and two. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. The 2-2 one more time. He is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. Up That's next. a back-to-back -back case, and he's so making it look pretty easy. Yeah. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So now to the plate, Nicholas Castellanos, as he lifts it in the air to right field. In there, a base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Reds. They trail three to two.
Your Robert Stevenson is yes. on to pitch now out of the bullpen in the bottom the half of the eighth. Number 55, Robert Stevenson. Leading up for the Yankees. The shortstop. Into the box Labor. now, Torres. Torres. He'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Stevenson, a 27 year old, he was a first round pick back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Count is one and two now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect right before fielder. the ball Number even left the pitcher's hand. That Aaron. pitch wasn't even close. Yeah. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. At the plate now, Aaron Judge. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And now a right-hander's begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. Hey. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Fouled off. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey, hey great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. The wind up and the 0 1. One ball, one strike. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Chopper, right side of the infield. Taken in by Vado. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they still lead it three to two. Tommy Kainley please. comes on from the pen, now hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Tommy Kainley. Aristides Aquino will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. He 
swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. He takes something off there as this is swung on and missed, and there's one gone here in the ninth. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. In now, Freddie Galvis. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. One and two now. Pitch on the way. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. He got ahead with two good fastballs and then tried to drop the change up to see if he'd be out in front. Did a great job of laying off that pitch right there. Interested to see where he goes now. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to now the back. first two men Catch. he faces out of the Tucker. bullpen. Barnhart. Reds down to their final out now. And next to bat will be Tucker Barnhart. From the stretch. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. One and one to Tucker Barnhart. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Looking up is Gordner. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Solo shot to right center as it's now a three all ball game. And some guys just have a knack for the dramatic. He comes up in a big spot and just cranks one out of here to even the score. Not a bad time to hit your first homer of the year, huh? The center fielder. At the plate, Mark Payton. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. One and one to the Reds leadoff man. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Here's the one one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. But the Reds are able to square things up on this solo home run. Home half of the ninth coming up. We're tied now with three apiece. In now is the Yankees' DH, Giancarlo Stanton. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Giancarlo. 
Kenton. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. No one, no fight. The 1 0 home misses Whoa. off the plate. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Hey! Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The 2 1. Hey, strike two strike swinging. Two, two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. DJ LeMayhew waits on deck. Good battle. Count remains full. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And here's the 3-2 from him. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate the challenge pitch. Pitch. And for me personally, DJ. watching hitters swing and miss, Love man, that's you. a sight of beauty. Into the box, DJ LeMayhew. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's two for three and looking for more here. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Now batting. Stepping in, Mike Talkman. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. First delivery to him on the way. Ball in. The windup and the 1 and 0. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. And here's a pitch swung on and missed 1 and 2 now. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Hit hard on the ground is short. Galvis is there. Throw on to Votto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. Still tied 3-3. Digging in, Jesse Winker. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. Nope. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1-1. One and one. Now the pitch. Two balls, one ball. Eight. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one.
fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. Now and what does he do? He just throws pitch. his good fastball Yo, right by, brings Potter. the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Stepping in now, Joey Votto. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees at strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0 2 multiple ways up, down, in, and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. The one two. Ground ball foul down the left side. That one misses badly. It's ball two. Now this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Here's the pitch on two and two. High chopper to third. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Hey, not a bad back. pitch right there. Off-speed the pitch down in the zone. Hey, he thought he would set that up pretty well. The previous pitch was a real good fastball up. Yeah, I think the hitter was sitting all over that one, Dan. I really do. He saw that fastball up for show. I think he thought to himself, here comes the off-speed. Hey, Eugenio Suarez comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0 hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that'll get past his outstretched glove. It's a base hit. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. Now better. That was actually a well-executed fastball in to in off the plate. Ladies Credit the offensive player. He smelled that come and turned and burned. Now Jonathan Holder takes the mound to try to get out Number of this 56. mess. There are two on Jonathan. with only one away. Holder. Nick Senzel would come on now and pinch run here. Number 15, Nick Senzel. To the plate now, Mike Mustakis. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1-0. Ball two. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Now the 2-0. Runners are at first and second with one away. Two and two now. <laughs> Fastball well outside. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at bat of the night so far. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. 
This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. And time will be called here as with the important go-ahead run at second base, they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there. Into the box now, Nicholas Castellanos. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force, and with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. Red strand a couple. No change in the score. It's 3-3. Three to three. Nick Senzel is going to go ahead and stay a in the ball game and play third now. Now playing third base. Number 15. Josh Van Meter Nick. is into the game as well as he's the new first now baseman. First base. Number 17. Josh Van Meter. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. A hit in two official Leading trips off. to the plate to this point in the ballgame. The third baseman, number 29. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High in the air out to center field. Peyton is there, and he has it for the first out. The batter, the first baseman, Mike Ford. Miguel Andujar will grab a bat to pinch hit here, and you wonder if he'll be swinging for the downs trying to walk off with a victory. Miguel Andujar. And that's in there for strike one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The wind up and the 0 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for out number two. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Brett Gardner. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system, especially now he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. One and oh, the count. Two out, nobody on. Not close, it's two and oh. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Hitters count now. The 2-1. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. And it's 3-1 and one now. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Racing back the center fielder. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a solo shot to dead center. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Hey, when you get to extra innings, you're looking to piece together a rally or scratch any runs you can across the plate. But he says, hey, to heck with that. I'm going to do it with one swing of the bat. So a walk-off home run ends this thing in extras. That was fun. As we wrap this one up tonight, it's time to show our appreciation for the man you see there, Brett Gardner. Take a snapshot of that. He's our tops player of the game.